This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Put on my Pac-Man wristband for maximum performance. Welcome to the classic game room review of The Crew, an open world driving game with possibly the worst title ever for an open world driving game. The Crew. Missed opportunity, guys. Any combination of the words death, race, America, ninja, dungeon, and space would have been way better. Yes, you are a character, and the game has a plot, which fortunately you can skip through, because racing games don't need plots. And I already forget the character's name, I guess the developers assume everyone playing this game will be a white dude with a beard. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I like to do? Create my own driver, who's usually green, with lasers and a mohawk. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started because I actually like the crew, and I've spent a lot of time playing it. Where I have some mixed opinions, because I feel like this entire game is an enormous missed opportunity. For starters, you can't run over anyone or anything. Uh, also, there's no El Camino, and... They somehow forgot to include flamethrowers strapped to the front of your car. I, I can't believe they missed that one. It's so easy. The open world is the star of the crew, and the driving's not too bad either. It's your basic arcade-style racing game. It's a lot like the new Need for Speed games, or Burnout. In fact, at heart, I think this game desperately wants to be the incredible test drive unlimited. But it's not that good. Let's not get carried away now. I'm hitting some wineries in my tour across the USA. It'll take you a good 40 minutes or so to drive from one end of the map to the other, by the way. If you choose to go full cannonball run, you'll, you'll be there a while. Also, go with an ambulance. That way nobody suspects you're racing. Saw it in a movie somewhere. For what it's worth, The Crew is a predictable, enjoyable game once you get into it, but you've got to give it some time. It makes a terrible first impression. The Crew gets way better the longer you play it. Because it's like a driving RPG in a way. You've got to buy a car and grind for a while, leveling it up in order to compete in the storyline races to move the game along and open up all of the new events scattered throughout the country. There's a lot of customization options and a number of car classes as well. You gotta grind, you gotta win races, you gotta upgrade your vehicles, or you just cheat and pay your way through the game with real money. And I like the driving, I like the exploring, I like the environment they've created, I like the cars. But I can't stand the inclusion of a storyline. It's a driving game, I don't need to hear some heartfelt discussion about some somebody's sister who's gone missing after a bunch of bad guys did, did something or what. I, I don't care. Do you want to talk about it? What's to say? The fact that I couldn't find her? I knew something was wrong, but knowing she's dead... Yeah, and the acting's not very good either. It's totally distracting and, and just detracts from the, the, the driving and the exploring. But the worst part of the crew is that it's an online required game. You have to be hooked up to the internet in one way or another to play the crew. Which means you can only play the game when the hackers let you. So it's a lot like Destiny. Basically, you're just renting the game. Never never pay full price for a game that you're just renting. They can shut it off at any time. And you know what? That sucks. That's just a terrible idea. If that's the future of video games, then we should all be more thankful than ever that our Segas and Super Nintendos continue to work. The fact is, the crew isn't terrible. It's actually a lot of fun. I love the grinding aspect and the upgrading, and the more you play the game, the better it gets. Don't, don't miss this one just because of its flaws. Just don't pay full price for it, either. The 
the crew, a driving RPG. Sure, you can run into airplanes and trains, but it's still not as good as Test Drive Unlimited or Burnout Paradise, neither of which are required to be online. But I do have to compliment the designers for adding Caius onto the soundtrack. Good choice.